Welcome to Head Ease freebie version. In this video, we are going to cover the basics of radiant health for headache relief. Uh, we'll dive a little bit into each section, learn a few things that you can do to help shift yourself out of an, a flare up of your chronic headaches. Uh, and then we'll touch a little bit more on where you can go next. So all of the principles that we are going to learn about today are from the Radiant Health System and the seven keys to Radiant Health that I have uh, designed over the last 20, 25 years um, of my training and experience in holistic health. So a little bit about me really quickly. I started studying holistic health at a very young age. My mom was a reflexologist and natural chef and she raised me in a holistic lifestyle. And I started going to see chiropractors, naturopaths, acupuncturists at a very young age to help with uh, all of the conditions that I actually experienced growing up. And my body is a very sensitive body. I have a fibro body. So I've always been sensitive to toxins around me, uh, to foods, to energies, all kinds of things. And so all of those things uh, consolidated in my body, creating a fair amount of tension that these practitioners were able to help me with. So much so that I was motivated to go and study these things on my own at a very young age. Fast forward 25 years, and I am doing great, have lots of energy, have worked through a lot of chronic health conditions, and I'm working through others. And I have been working with clients using the techniques that I learned that helped me so much. Um, but I felt a little bit restricted. Uh, being in clinic with those clients, I was only able to see one or two at a time wasn't able to devote the time and energy I wanted to sharing all of the information, all of the amazing information um, that I wanted to. So I decided to create this system and uh, write it down and film it so that it would be available to anyone, anytime. And I'm really happy to share it with you today, at least the basics of it. And if you wanna take it further, you can let me know and we'll get you set up with your own custom program. So Head Ease is a system that clears blockages through the entire body. Um, excuse me, Radiant, Radiant Health is a system that clears blockages through the entire body. And in this video, we're going to focus on blockages through the head and neck. Headaches can be caused by all kinds of issues, uh, anywhere in the body actually. It's very common for headaches to really start in the feet. So if you have feet pain and headaches, they are actually strongly connected in our structural system, in our body's architecture. Our, uh, our muscles, our joints, our tendons and ligaments, and this special connective tissue that runs throughout our body called our fascia. And Using various techniques, we can work with all of these tissues, making sure that they're in balance so that as we stand and sit and move through life, um, the shock that we get from doing that. So we take a step, we get a little shock wave that reverberates through our body up to our head. If everything is aligned, by the time that shock wave gets to the head, it will be very minimal if felt at all. But if we're out of alignment, if our structure is off, the shock wave will actually be a really big impact all the way through our head. And so each step we take can be jostling our vertebrae, can be jostling our brain, can be making it to where a tension builds up that eventually turns into headaches. And so that's one of the things that we are going to be working on today. We do that with uh, two different systems. One is the Radiant Body MyoCare system. And that is a deep self-care or supportive care uh, process that uses ancient tools and techniques. So I'm an acupuncturist by trade, studied Chinese medicine for the last 15 years. And I was a massage therapist and movement therapist before that. 
So I have always been intrigued by the things that people do to have healthy structural systems, to have healthy bodies. And what I have found over my training and experience and working with hundreds, if not thousands of clients, is that there are specific tools that are most effective. Massage is great. If you can afford a really good massage therapist, you can even find a really good massage therapist um, who knows how to work with your body, then you've hit gold. Um, but that's not the case for all of us. And even if it is, even if you can afford, you found and you can afford an amazing massage therapist who knows how to work with your particular body patterns, um, you're not gonna be able to see them every day. So knowing how to work with your own body to maintain your structural alignment is really very important. And so the tools that we use to make this happen are uh, cups, cupping therapy, which I will show you a little bit later on. We use a technique called smoothing. Smoothing therapy uses a different type of tool. It's also called gua sha. And uh, some of you may have heard of it. It's a little blade that you can scrape across your face to help lift and tone. Um, but it also helps to work, you can use it to work with the rest of our body to break down blockages that are keeping our circulation down or keeping our structure misaligned. We, we use acupressure which is very similar to acupuncture, but we can use just with our thumbs, our fingers, or uh, other blunt tools that we have lying around the house. Uh, we learn self-massage, so learning how to massage our own bodies in ways that are not overwhelming or draining. We don't have to know, uh, you know everything about our physiology to give ourselves an effective massage. In fact, in my experience, it is the very small massages that we do throughout the day that actually make the biggest difference. And that can be as simple as just pinching and grasping, right? So I'm just rolling the skin, moving it around between my fingers. When I find an area that feels kind of tender, a little bit chunky, I just spend a little extra time there. So we learn really simple techniques that are also very effective to make a really big difference in our structural alignment. So that when we do sit, stand, walk, move, whatever it is we're doing throughout our day, it's not making a big impact on our head and neck. To do that, we also need to talk about posture. And we cover that in Functional Fitness and our Goddess Glow series. So Functional Fitness is a system that is designed to meet you where you are, meet your body where it is. Uh, a lot of fitness systems don't work very well with bodies with chronic conditions. They push too far, too fast. They tell you to do things that aren't necessarily right for your body that can even uh, cause you to end up in higher levels of pain, deeper levels of dysfunction. And so I have designed functional fitness to, uh, to take you from where you are to where you want to be in easy to use bite-sized step-by-step process so it's not just you know go out and run five miles that's not going to work for us right so instead it's okay if you can't get out of bed what can we do there if you can get up and sit in a chair what can we do there if you can stand up and walk around maybe a little bit how can we use that so getting us further and further for helping us progress in our fitness to stages that work for us versus causing us to burn out with in fitness. And one of my favorite ways to integrate pleasure is through this functional fitness method. So I have developed a really fun system of movement called Goddess Glow. And it is a combination of Qigong and yoga and dance and spontaneous movement and uh, it's a little bit uh, well it can be more advanced but it's also uh, really amazing for people even who are um, still in very fatigued uh, conditions or have a lot of pain so we use the functional fitness to get everything back online and as we progress we can add in these goddess flow movements 
to really amplify things and help them get moving. There are a lot of different things that we do within these two, uh, within these two programs. Uh, and we don't have time to go into all of them today, but I did want to share a little bit with you about what you can do just while you're sitting here right now to help release tension through your shoulders and neck so that your, uh, the muscles that attach to your head can start to relax. Your head can shift back into an alignment and hopefully you can at least reduce whatever head ache or head tension you're feeling right now by a significant amount. So the first thing we are going to do, I'll show you my neck here, is figure out where our headache is. Often it is right at the base of the skull, right? These little guys here. So we can get in, we can use a little bit of our Radiant Body MyoCare. I'm just using the pads of my top first two fingers here. And I'm just rubbing gently on the base of my skull. You don't wanna to push too hard. There are nerves that are quite deep in there. If you pushed hard enough, it could affect something, but it's not likely to. But really we don't need to. The muscles we want to work right now are just at the base of the skull, right under the skin, little tiny pyramid shaped muscles that run in different directions. So we can move our fingers in different directions. We can move up and down. Notice how that feels. We can move side to side. Notice how that feels. We can start moving our head gently. If you have neck issues, if it crunches a lot or tends to go out a lot, you don't want to lift your chin all the way up and then move. Just a gentle forward neck roll is enough. You can stop and try side to side. See how that feels. Just checking in with your neck. How does it feel to move one ear to one shoulder or the other ear to the other shoulder? How does it feel to bring your chin to your chest? Does it feel tight? Does it feel painful? So as we connect with our bodies more, especially the areas we're working on, we can start to observe and assess, to notice what's going on, to make note of what's going on so that we can work with it more. So if you have a lot of pain at the base of your head, you're probably going to want to get those guys to release, right? Doing a little massage is nice, but if they're really tense, that's not gonna get rid of it all. So what we can do is tip our head back a little bit, chin towards the ceiling, bring our ear towards the shoulder. This is gonna shorten those little muscles in the back, those little tiny pyramids in the back so they can let go. It's kind of like a Chinese finger trap, right? When you pull it really tight, you can't get out of it. But when you let it go, everything softens and you can escape. It's a similar idea. You're not sticking anything in there, but you wanna let those muscles shorten and soften. The muscle fibers, when they're pulled tight, they lock together and they can't let go. So we're just letting them go, kind of like Velcro, right? You gotta unhook it so it can relax. Taking nice deep breaths as you can. Now, if you have trouble breathing, taking deep breaths, that's a whole other issue. We're gonna talk about that. Of course, it will affect your ability to relax, but we are going to talk about that in a whole other video uh, called Breathe Deep, where we'll talk about lung health, breath work, allergies, asthma, chronic bronchitis, anything and everything related to lungs and the breath. So we did one side, check in with that. Mm, how does it feel? Can we move a little easier? We can do the other side. So tilt your chin up, other ear to the other shoulder, and just let it soften. I just have my fingers on it. I'm just feeling for it to soften a little bit. I'm also sending my awareness there. See if I can sense it softening. Sometimes you'll feel it with your fingers, actually physically soften. Sometimes you'll just kind of notice it. Sometimes you'll want to take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Usually about 45 seconds to a minute, and then you can come back out of it. So just those two things, that little bit of rubbing and the shortening to soften can make a very big difference.